All right, well, here we are, the Bill Molyneux with Bill's War Game World, and we are at none other than Walt's house at the secret location for Battle of the Bulge. Walt, can you tell me about our game today? Uh, yeah, uh, it is December the 16th, and the Germans have, are launching their surprise attack on the Americans. Um, historically, the Americans were totally unprepared. They didn't have any tanks up on the front line. They didn't have any 105s or anti-tank guns behind bunkers like that. They didn't have guys already hunkered down in the buildings, but in your game, Bill, they are. Mike, do you have anything you'd like to throw in? I know nothing. <laughs> All right. I'm let me following Colonel Clink. All right. And what is the overall German commander oh, today? Yeah, right. So uh, let's go swing over to see how uh, Colonel Handsome, otherwise known as Kevin, American. Dark days in a dark forest. So, are you prepared to tell Walt the special saying when he asks you for your surrender? Yes, I am. Okay. We will say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm swinging over to Joseph. So, Joseph, uh, are you prepared for today's exciting battle? You're holding the church, and you have a couple of Shermans. Uh, yes, I do, and uh, uh we were supposed to be packing up and heading home by this time, so uh, this is quite a surprise. All right, and next, um, Walt's going to take over on the camera for a moment. All right, well, we are using Battles with Model Soldiers by Donald Featherstone, I think printed in 1968. Um, what I've done is I've doubled the ranges and the movement because his were set up for 172nd Airfix figures. And I needed a larger range for die rolls, so I switched the D6 out, modified it to go to a D10. As you can see, it's just two pages. We're going to flip a card to activate units, and we're going to start playing. Okay, everyone, we're getting ready to start our great Battle of the Bulge game. Um, I really need to do a special shout-out to the Nash Horn that came from... Uh, Sheriff John's father, the 92-year-old uh, that made that for this game, it has light armor but an 88 millimeter gun. And I believe Walt is in command of the Nash Horn. That's right. All right, well, uh, if it's the best thing, we're going to set up the camera in the back a little bit, and we're going to start playing. They got the AT gun. Oh, I do too. My two tanks, well, they got those two Shermans. What kind of cover do the goalies provide? Impervious. Ah. <laughs> so well, I'm saying is cover, is medium walls. cover. Medium cover is trenches and walls, which is walls or buildings. We have no pillboxes. Yeah. So, I'm going to flip a card. You're red, you're black, and here we go. We have a red five. So, it activates one unit. Do we actually see any Germans at this point? Um, no, they have not come out of the woods, and none of these vehicles are here. None of those vehicles. There. I was going to cover them with bounty paper towels, but I figure everyone can use their imagination. Okay. Well, let's put. Uh, I suggest let's put the gun on Overwatch. So when he does come on, we can shoot it. Yeah. Okay. We need a red ship then. What's the range on that? It's a 105 gun. Now it's considered a 76 mil 75 millimeter. No. Oh, okay. And on our chart, it can cover the table, Kevin. That's 72 and inch range. This is 75. And see that three? Yeah. That gets a bonus of a three to penetrate. It has a maximum range of 72 inches. Short range, long range. Oh, I see. So, okay. So we put a red marker on that. And a blue marker. And a blue marker. That it's been activated and it's got a red. So you guys are looking for tigers. You have two BAR men in support. They're also on. That's all one unit. Yes. Okay. okay. Next card. Next card, and I'm going to start flipping fast. Base card, Germans, two units. Oh, so Mike, do you want to bring on the two Tigers and see if you can't blow up that AT gun? Now, uh, or do you want to do something different? The uh, Tiger tanks can move fine this turn. They both move 10 inches. If you move more than five from where they are, they cannot fire. Yeah, it's fine. So five from the edge or where they're at. I normally use a minus one to hit for moving and minus one to hit a moving target and vice versa. 
We're not going to use that today just to keep the game moving. It's okay. another. When I'm playing at home with 20. Roll for those tanks moving? Not the first turn. Okay. Now, do I shoot at them now? So. Yeah, did, I, I would think. Yes, you say, I want to hit something. Well, I, I do want to hit it, I guess. I, I, Which tiger do you want to aim at, Kevin? The big one. All right, oh. aim at the big one. The other one's more likely to break down, I think. Now, what's your range? If you're, I have no idea. What's it need to be? That'd be what it is. Is it under 24? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's like 16. Oh. All right, you're a 76 millimeter anti-tank gun. You're gonna roll a one through five to hit, and one are nine? you under one D10? One D10. You're gonna roll the hit. Roll the hit. Eight. You and miss. eight, the shell misses. Where's it go? It just. Oh. Remove your red um, first fire marker. Your two BAR men, though, they see targets out there. Sure, infantry. All right, they fire BARs. You'll see there they roll three dice per figure. So grab three and three. Are they over 16 inches? Uh, well, let's. I guess they can both shoot at this guy. He's not. He is. I can't shoot at them, right? They're not there. Your maximum. No, they're not there yet. What's it, is 16 their maximum? No, your maximum range is 48. 16 well, is your short range. These guys are short range. These guys are not. Okay. They're three die and three die. So three dice is short range. And that's a one through five. And two hits. All right. And then the other guy gets three dice needing. And are they the same target? Yeah. Okay. That's all I can see. Yeah, right. they're, all, they're, they're not short range. They're not short range. Okay. You need one through fours on that. More, so that's four hits. Four hits. Now, Coach. Mike, grab four D10s. You get all of this. This is it. So we get. No, no. There's all kinds of dice over here. Give them white dice, though. They'll need that for their surrender flags. So they have to get used to it. And you're in open ground, but because there's always cover in open ground, it's a one through four to save. Well, that's unfair. Uh, you want Mike to roll nine. ones and twos and threes? He rolled nothing but. <laughs> save two of them. That was this group? Uh, yes. And the, the person that dies gets to pick the dead. Oh, okay. You don't have to, the, it's not randomized then. No. So you uh, might get the leader. I have randomized it in the past, but yeah. for today's game, with the different issues we have with a large game and all. Yeah. So, you are done firing. Mike, yeah. do you have your activation of... He needs to put a blue marker on them. They move. Um, he, but I also get to shoot. He gets to shoot and he's going to place his markers. What? Now, Mike, you, you only moved half, so you could shoot everybody. So, what do you want to aim at first? Uh, the gun. All right. What you shoot? Tank? Yeah, 88. Yes. There's a high explosive disc. Lay it over the gun. So. Mike, you're hitting on a one through five, but you're a German 88, which is frustrating. Uh, for the Americans, you get a plus two to hit. So you go from a one through five to a one through seven. They're more accurate. Walt, can you explain the deadly 88 to Kevin? Yeah. Well, if, it, if it don't hit, it ain't deadly. So I don't know why you do hits better. One die to hit. Okay. Seven. Okay, and so it... It made it. The shell landed there. So now he takes four D10s. He does. No, right. you do. You do. you got to get hits now. You do. Your shell hit. Now you're going to see for explosion. And that's just uh, one through fives. One, two, two tens. I got a one and a four. Your tank blew up. So you got two hits. Mm -hmm. So Kevin, you just roll your, your saving throw. And he's in. Um, and he's in trenches. He's medium, in medium cover, so the one through eight is his save. I got a three and a five. They three. save. They both save. Now, uh -huh. now because of the shell hitting the gun, you have to save the gun from not being destroyed. All right. You have to roll one die for that. Yeah. Now what three also? I have no idea. Four. So you're you save the gun. Uh -huh. So it the hit. Is on it, our side. It, the the. <laughs> High explosive hit, but it hit sandbags and everything else around Tell it. Tell me again about these 88s. <laughs> All right. uh, okay. Now, what about his... his now, your hull machine gun. Okay. 
Roll four dice for that. Then he hits on. He just comes he's off. He's got to hit one through fives. That comes off now. Yeah. Because he can't target the gun. I've got a three. So you got to save one. one save one die. And you're, t- you're saying he only he saves on nines and tens? He, he saves on one two eights right now. A ten don't save. Yeah, you lost somebody in there. Oh, we'll lose this guy. No, you, well, you should lose one of the gunners, right? Why? That was the target. No, uh, those are all gunners. He's got a, a five-man crew. Uh, okay. five-man crew, plus he's got two BARs. I get to pick. Okay, and two BAR men. All right, fire the other. Are you done well, with that, Tank? The, 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 the tank, tank what about the infantry? infantry with him? Uh, count up your rifles and see if you see a machine gun in there. Uh, I know I've got an LMG in here. Okay, that's your light machine gun, your submachine gun. That's three dice and count up your rifles. So I've got the LMG, I got an SMG, and three rifles. Three rifles. Yep. So what's an SMG? Two dice. Three dice. And the LMG is three dice. And he has. Here's the LMG. Here's the SMG. SG forty-two yep. there. So yeah. you've got one, two, three, four, five, and believe it or not. Thirteen dice coming in out. What? Four, five, six, seven. <coughs> oh boy, how many total dice? Thirteen. Thirteen. So Here's seven. 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 Okay. And what do I need? You five. need one through fives. Two, three, four, five, six. Hits. Right. And then with six more dice. Yeah. Nine total, Kevin. All right. One through eights, Kevin. Yeah, and you're you're hunkered eight. down in there. Uh, <coughs> well, that's... Nines and tens are kills. No, I have no nines and tens. i got to roll one more die. Nope, that's a three. Okay, that was them. <coughs> then you're going to roll a single die on a one through seven. It's a hit. Now your tank has a four die machine gun. Yes, it does. Uh, one, two, that's probably a save. Yeah. yeah. You're saving on one through eights right now, hunkered down in there. Yeah. So I've got an SMG and one, two, three, and those guys shoot at him? Rifle. Seven. Gun on the second tiger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I thought you missed. I wanted to double check. Didn't want you to miss anything. So you still need to put a marker on that because they got it, He's got oh, markers. Okay. Okay. There we go. Blackjack. Now I need to show Walt something. See these guys here, Walt. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to throw a hand grenade, it's two d ten. You can't move more than nine to throw a hand grenade, though. So, seven and two, it would go out nine inches. Right. There is no saving throw on a hand grenade. Oh. Okay, so then if I threw it and, and I rolled an snake eyes. You'll blow yourself up. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but there is for an 88 right. gun that hits. You've got to save it. Okay. Go figure. Yeah. Okay. So, With a little hand grenade. What does it ask for? Is it an 88? It's the same as what Mike has. Correct. Hit them at a seven. And the, the tiger will hit that guy at a seven. If yes, it, yeah. if you can see it. Oh, I can see it. I mean, it, we, I thought we could see everything on the tens. That? Nines and tens? There's well, a nine. the 76 millimeter anti tank gun nine. just nine. got taken out. Yeah. All right, well, that oh, that's, that's all my shooting, easy. Mr. Bill. Okay, am I okay to flip a card, everyone? Mm-hmm. Yeah, try Are you one. running this thing? Right at the moment, I okay. just turned it on. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. We have the camera on at the moment, so no swearing. And uh, we have a German ace. Any red cards in Which that Which means deck, Bill? two cards, <laughs> two groups can go. 
Even two, if already any gone. two units or the units have already been activated. All right, so what I would like to by do lunchtime. is to reactivate <laughs> in the fire at that guy, but that means you can also activate one of your guys to go flank. Why? Even one, so any one group or anybody that's going could go. Yeah, you get groups. two groups, two, two units, and it could be any unit. So if I, I'm going to fire this guy, then you can pick anybody you want to, Mike, to either move or to shoot or do something with. I'm going to fire it to Sherman again. Okay. I need a seven. Yeah, I'm going to keep here because you still have... I rolled a six. I okay, now you got to penetrate that Sherman. So it's got an armor class of ten. I got a five and four is nine. It's going to bounce. It bounces. Okay. Now on the flank you get a plus one and on the rear you get a plus two. Okay. Right, and what you um, got coming in here, Mike? Then I'm going to fire uh, the machine gun. No, your, your ears are getting hit a little bit. I'm, I'm firing the machine gun that's associated with it. Okay. And that's two hits. Two hits. Joe, you got... That's a hit. Is there that's anyone left two in the building? Two dice on them. Kevin, is there anyone left in the, in the building there? There's one Which guy building? I called, the bazooka Down boy. Bazooka boy. How many uh, hits? Two. Hand me the template. Need a nine or a ten. I know. I know. Nope. Okay. One and an eight. Then here. Got him, him, and him. So this is his group. He's uh, three, four, five, six, You're shooting seven, an 88 at one guy? Two. Uh, two. Okay, the 88, well... One through hit. sevens. Oh, okay. good, good. What do I? For, for, um, one through five plus two. One through sevens for it's high explosive, right? Right. One through sevens. Three hits. Joe, you got four more rolls from from the group that's associated with that. So four now, rolls, nine and tens two. are kills. Still you're still three rolling three because it's so much high explosive coming in. Okay, so well, he's I dead. Yep, he dead. Kevin, the bazooka man's made. dead. So pick one of them. Pick one guy out of there. I got two saves. No, that's not who I was shooting at. No, that well, was Walt. I know you were shooting at them. Yeah, that is that what he just rolled for? He said I roll three dice because there's three guys. No, so you, I did. You roll three and dice. I got two saves. And so the fact that one died shouldn't matter. Or do I have this wrong? Did like eight units. We've activated one. Well, I think this is historically very accurate. I'm um, yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to win. What are you talking about, guys? <laughs> it's still early in the game, and there's a whole... So you're not he supposed to win the first day. day. Look well, at Joe. He's doing day. great. His Sherman's are getting hot and hot and it mounts him. Right. It can't be the first day. We have tanks here. This has got to be a weekend. Yeah, this is like, like the 22nd. Yeah. The outskirts of Bastogne. <laughs> Actually, up north, the Americans had some tanks that fought on the first couple That's an awesome building in front of Kevin. I've never seen that one before. Is that, um, I saw it in your other video. I built that with stuff that was sent to me from Frank Prez and uh, Jack from Tucson, Arizona, or uh, Tepecota, Arizona. Five, I forgot. Five saves on him. Five. And actually, up north, though, the German tanks would be more fours and panthers. I'm not telling you how to. So, write your so, rules here, Bill, but it seems to me if I got one guy there, why should I have five chances to die? Because you, one, you've been, you, one got, you got shot. So you got tons plane. of ammo. Bullets coming in from everywhere. Well, he got three, three, three. He died three times. <laughs> he tried getting up and leaving. <laughs> now he's really on the side of the angels. <laughs> All right. Next card. All right. Look at that, Kevin. Two units activate on the American side. So you can fire that Boy, that's great. Now you can move your <laughs> Sherman if you want. Um, you decide, Joe. Well, I think what we should do is... Your, your, your Sherman can move up to seven inches and still fire. Yeah, without penalty? Without penalty. Mm -hmm. And it's got a whole machine gun. Now, can the Sherman actually penetrate the Tiger too? No. Um, let me tell you. <laughs> Not normal. The Sherman, be the Sherman tank... Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. your, let's see, a plus three. Was that a 75 millimeter? Yeah, it, it's a plus two, and then we're. I, uh, your armor on your Tiger two is a 12, and the Tiger one is a one. So you actually need to roll a 10 to penetrate. Okay, we're not even going to bother. Unless you get a flank shot. Why don't you get behind The something? Nash horn will go up like. It's made out of uh, light armor. It's more like a bulldozer. Oh, shoot at that thing, then. <laughs> yeah, we'll shoot at the Nash one. And you can move seven with the Sherman if you'd like. And shoot. 
Seven and two. I know. Now you, he's, uh, now there's a one Sherman a unit here, or or are they both two together. Unit? We're gonna do those two together. Okay. Okay. What do you mean together? I'm gonna let They're him. Good. I'm gonna let him have those two as a team unit, just because they have no infantry support. Okay. That, that, I can accept that. So. Let me get the, the Shermans are moving up. We'll get a close up of that. And and my goodness gracious. Now, by the way, those little armored car things, they go up like matchsticks too. They're not on the table. No, they're not. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, am I still within range at uh, 27, 30? Yes. You have a range of all the way up to 37. 72, okay. so you need to hit with, you were over 24, so yeah. you're yeah. going to need a 1 through 4. Come on, did I? <laughs> and he rolls a 10, so the, the shot misses. Okay. Now he's, he's, hits the infantry instead. Now can, now can, now can I fire a uh, high explosive shot from him? Yes. These, these guys aren't here yet. These guys are. Those guys are. These guys aren't ever come on yet. You can shoot a machine gun or something. You can there. still hit that Nashorn with that. Yeah, no, it's in the, the other tanks in the way. Be, so what if he fires at the at the Sherman? Would that be a seven to hit? I think you still have a shot on the Nash Horn. Okay. Don't argue with the ump. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing. I just I'm sorry, Walt. Just give me a scale. I didn't hear you. Oh, look at that. We got the, the Walt Another scowl. Another 10. Oh, Jesus. Look at Bill. Can I be a German? You're not being a fair, you're not being a very fair game master right now. I'm not being... I think you're colluding with the Americans. He must be a fair, because we're both saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I missed with, with both of them. You have All machine right, guns. You, you fire four die and four die for machine guns at the infantry. Yeah. Okay. And that group's not on. So this this F this one group. has no target. Okay, the other so, one does. So the other one. So what do we need to hit them? One you have one through fours. One through four. And you got two, two hits. hits. All right. Okay, well, I save. You can't. And you save on one through fours. Uh, is that a one? Yeah, and a, a four. four. Yes, Kevin's going to have a nervous breakdown by the end of the day. Sorry, no. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. No, that occurred yesterday. All right. This is all in fun, everyone. We're, we're not right. playing for money. No, but we never play for money. We <laughs> play for lunch. Uh, yeah. So when that, you start having fun? <laughs> that was a unit, Joe. So you have another unit yet. Oh. Where do you want to move, Joe? Kevin, do you have anything that can uh, shoot? <coughs> Uh, well, how far does a bazooka shoot? 24. I don't think so. Oh, my, I'm sorry, with the Piat. The bazooka's 24, the, the Piat's, a, I got it at 18. No, I see nothing in range. With, uh, However, you could yeah, move, what we're gonna shoot at next you could move right? six to increase your range. Another squad. Well, do, we have infantry, do we have infantry fire from there? How many shoots? How far does they shoot? Well, they, they can shoot 48. far enough, but they... But they're going to hit, only hit a one through four because of the range, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what we got in here. The bazooka does or doesn't contribute to that. that you no, know, because he's got the bazooka. And, then, and, then, and I think he loses the loader, too, right? Yeah. He don't have a loader. Oh, yeah. I guess that's what this guy does. does have loaders. So how many uh, how many infantry guys we got? Well, we've got... you got to see got if anyone's got BARs. we got four. One with a Thompson gun. It's an SMG. Yeah, with a carbine, it looks like. Yeah, he's it's considered a SMGs right. only go out to 24. Yeah, I, we've uh, sort of passed that, Mike, at the moment. I'm sorry. Just a hiccup. So we're going to use... Is, is that a BA? Yeah, the, that the a submachine... Is that a, that's a rifle. That's a rifle. Yeah, I allowed... Because of everything yeah. going on, I just forgot the submachine guns have a shorter yeah, range, and we've been right. adding them. So we're just going to let everyone out. Of we're just going within range. Yeah, but yeah. I was firing at him to be honest. So I, uh, I have then uh, four riflemen and a Thompson gunner. So that's so seven, seven dice. shots. Seven, seven shots. dice, one through four, Mr. Kevin. Yep. Seven. Who are you firing at? Uh, 
No, no, you want to fire over there. Yeah. No, you no, want to fire over right no, there. No, those are the guys that are coming for you. No, no. You don't want to, you don't, I wouldn't mess with these guys. They ain't coming for me. Seven dice? One through four. Ooh, one, two, three. Three. Sorry. Right. Oh, dead. Three out of seven. There's dead eye. Oh, uh, three dead. Ho oh, ho! Oh, Take that, Ozzy. Now, I will build a dead pile over here while we're breaking into the action really quick. Uh, Kevin took his half-track, the, the anti-aircraft half-track, and opened up on Walt's German infantry. And Kevin, what'd you? how many kills you score? Three, I think. Three kills with well, I the... I got six hits, but he saved three. And he saved three. And it was devastating fire. Not really. I think Walt uh, is going to retreat from the effects of that half-track. What can the steward do? It has a, a machine gun, and it has a 37 millimeter anti-tank gun, mm -hmm. and, a, and it has an armor piercing value of a one. And uh, I it, need a ten to pierce armor. Well, that Nashorn, the little Nashorn, uh, that that is a. Uh, All right. How far does it move and shoot? Oh, it moves fast. It can go a maximum of 18 inches. You can move at nine and still shoot. Well, no, it says move 18 inches, so wouldn't you have to move half? Yeah, nine inches. Nice. You would move nine, right, okay. You move nine and he'll shoot at that thing. The only thing can be hurt. All right, oh. The range is uh, it's over 16. Oh, it's over 16. Yeah, so he rolls and he has to do, roll a four to hit? One through four. One through four. One through four, because he's at long range. Two! Aha! Okay, that 37 millimeter has hit the Nash horn. Nash horn. Okay. Now, Kevin, the Nash horn's the same as a half track in armor. Whoa. Yeah, it's not good. It's a five. So, so I roll a die and add five. Now, you roll a die and you gotta get higher than a five and you get to add one because of your Stuart's armor piercing ability. The gun, the 37 is a armor Plus piercing one. one. You have to you have to roll higher than a five. I just got a hit though. That's, yes. That's, you now you have to see your you penetration. Now you're gonna. Oh, I see. So I, I I I. So. I need to roll one through six or higher than a six. Or higher than a five. Higher than a five. Can and I you, add one to my die roll. Yep. That's right. five. Okay. So yeah. if you roll a five or higher. Seven. Seven plus one is eight. Eight. So he blows up. It blows up. Yay! Yay! It kills all the guys next to it. No. Yeah. Well, I had to check. When because my stuff you, were, blew up. you were in a confined area. You're in a confined area. You're no, standing no, next we're to the, we're <laughs> All right, so to uh, Broom County Sheriff John out there, once again, the Nash horn is no longer functioning. Say, <laughs> <laughs> hey, haven't built you another one. <laughs> All right. And, of course... This is all in fun with great gamers, and this is not meant to be Everybody Flames of War fun. level of wargaming. It's not so, fun when you're getting shot at. I know. Well, when your tanks are blowing up. All right. So the Germans are reeling in their loss of a vehicle. Well, it's only fair. So what do you say? We have another red card, Kevin. Oh, my. What? Talk to Joe. He's the C&C. &C. No, I thought you were. Oh. Uh, we have to keep an eye on Bill to make sure he's not palming. Joe, these guys haven't come out of the woods how yet. About the, how about the guys to the left of the tiger? Which tiger? Shoot at <laughs> to the left of that one. Are they there yet? No, these guys aren't here, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I well, really don't have a shot. I've got here. a I've got a uh, heavy machine gun over here. I can shoot over there, I guess. And it's got a guy next to it, so that's eight yeah. dice. That whole building could activate. you got a BAR guy on the roof. Yeah, we'll do the chip. We'll do that. I'll shoot the... Here. Come in here. Shoot some chips. Well, I don't need a lot. Everybody's activating over here except for these two guys. Now, uh, because the Game Master did do the screw-up on the short-range for the submachine guns, how do you want me to fix that so both sides will be fair because I made an error? Do we want to just let the submachine guns fire at 48 like the rifles, or from here on do you want to cut them at the 24 like they should be at? Well, okay. From here on. From here on, uh, the had, submachine had, had guns we are. We got the benefit of it once. Yeah. Yes. We did, right? Then. Yes, okay. Fix it. And I apologize for that. And. Um, well, that's why this is called a play test. Well, I've got three rifles, a heavy machine gun, and a VA, uh, VAR. Yeah, that's VAR. VAR. Fire at uh, the big one. The guys next to the. Tiger one. 
so you're rolling one through four. How many dice is that, Kevin? That's what I'm asking. A uh, BAR is three. Your heavy machine gun with a loader is yeah. eight. Is eight? That's a loader. Oh, all right. And then, so that's 11. And then you got two, three riflemen. Yeah. So 14 dice. 14 dice. Heading on four. Here's eight for the heavy machine gun. No whammies. Pull it. Pull it. One, two. What do I need? Four. Four. Four One, two, three. So far. That's, that's eight. Eight out of 14, six more. By the way, if you do throw the hand grenade, if you roll two ones, you blow up. One, two, <laughs> that, that, three more. <laughs> so six total? Six total. Now, can Mike, with his superior die rolling skill, save those figures? Never. Never. You uh, save only what? Uh, one through five. One through five. Um, he's uh, in the open. One through fours. One through four. And I have it in a very... Very big font. Oh, that's right. You have to roll low in this game. Mike, yeah, Mike will be, yeah. Yeah. be there, the There's the saving rolls. Huh? Saving rolls are, are... And even though they're in the open, they're still getting down. Oh, and sure. They're, 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 they're finding yeah, some cover. They're not... They're getting down. Are you done? <laughs> yep, that's good. Blue poker chip. We're going to flip a card. I, I a blue poker chip. We are at German Black. So, um, have we got anything that can take out that... Steward or take out that. I think all of our armor stuff's gone. Yeah, there's a 20 millimeter pom pom in, on that armored car. Yeah, but it can't take out that armor. Um, Looks like you got a bazooka there. Yeah, but I, I, I think the range of that's 24. 18? 18. It, it really should be 24. The PI is supposed to be 18, but on this current version, I have them both listed together. So I, uh, I, don't really I don't want to make anyone upset that I changed another rule on my rule sheet, so we'll keep it at 18. Where's the, where's the, where's the 20 millimeter? Uh, you could move no. that, I would move the slug over to try to take out the steward. For, oh, the, for the pom-pom guy? Yeah. Mike? We're uh, using the yeah. 37 millimeter yeah. with no ar armor bonus. Well, I can move without shooting. So that'd be 20 millimeter? So um, it'd have an armor piercing of zero. The 14 inches. Okay. And does the wood slow me down? I don't think in this thing it matters. Joe, we need a speech to inspire the troops. So, I che checked the rules, right and from what I would make up in the world of Mark's toy soldiers... Does this thug have any infantry with it? They can stay there. They can stay there. You move them out of your way. And the woods are so light in this particular area, they're not impeding the movement rates. It's just... They're, you can see figures moving, but the maximum range is 24. Gee. So wow. your armored car with the 20 millimeter pom-pom gun, mm -hmm. that gun rolls one die to hit. However, the armor piercing value is a zero. So um, it could penetrate a Sherman on a roll of a 10, but ten, that's a 10% chance. Right, and then the steward it would do uh, what's the armor value of the steward <laughs> negative two <laughs> a steward's armor class is a seven huh. and what about the half track now armor the half tracks is a five so if he fired it at the yeah. half track if he rolled a six he'd blow it up if he hit it i believe so Walt. all right and he, to hit it, he, he has it. no bonus his 20 millimeter pom pom gun, even though it'd be firing like three rounds, you'd still roll one. Yeah, to see if you hit. But you get no addition to your die roll. Right. So, so, so what does he need to hit? Like a five? Uh, the for five? the half track, you need a roll of a five would disable it, but still make it a pill would make it a pillbox. You got to roll higher to blow it up. So you're, if you're he, if he, the, but to hit to hit him, he needs to roll five or yes. less. Yes. One through five or one through four, depending on range, okay. and then his you blow up move. number. Right. So then he's got a 50-50 chance of blowing up if he rolls a six. Right. Gotcha. Uh, so did we do our German move? I haven't done anything because you folks are uh, talking. Oh, we're talking about. I see. I don't think. Where that, that pom pom gun can see that, and they're not even on the table yet. So I would just move your stug, Mike. Well, these guys get to move too, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they go with Both them. Both groups go so, with the stug? Well, I thought that was one group. 
it is. Uh, it is. It's all each vehicle is supposed to have a support group. So yeah, okay. he's, got, he's got two groups two of five groups there. So, so one ten. group of five and one group of five. Does that make sense? Do you have t about ten figures there? Yes, I've got four foot. and a five. Okay, so one group of four oh. and one group of five. However you want to do it. You should have a few figures that are supporting your tank and then a separate squad. So you should have two units there. So there's two units of foot. One of them is with attached the to the tank. I, so they I do not like to send armor them. out without infantry support. It's not fair. We do. We don't care. Well, you've got infantry support. It's just they're all dead. Well, it's Joe's true. church guys are doing great. They haven't been shot at yet. They're praying their asses so what are these things? <laughs> oh, Walt has asked a special question. Now, everyone out there in YouTube land, Walt, those are, those are Mark's playset 1964 Desert Fox armored cars. They don't really exist in our world. However, for the nostalgic of playing with 54s, I always love <laughs> to put a couple in my games. There you go. Um, and of course, my games are meant to be more fun than realistic, so we're not playing bolt action level or flames of war. And as you can tell, everyone's complaining about my rules. What are, what are they equipped with? They have a uh, eight die machine gun. Each of them. Yeah, they have a loader and the and the drivers. I forgot. I only brought uh, my bag of drivers. I forgot them, but there is a driver in each. Okay. And they, they do go up pretty fast. I think they have an armor class of five. What is visibility with that slug in the woods? A maximum of 24. Until he gets that close to the edge. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm within 24 of the edge. But how far is, uh, does how the edge He can only yet? see 24. He well, only can see 24. Through the woods, so it's 24. No, 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 it's not the end of the woods. It's, as I understand it, it's, you're in the woods, it's 24. You'll be able to move so that. Okay. And it can't do anything, so I'm going to activate it and put it on overwatch. Are you putting your chips down? Couldn't be it. Now that bazooka could move six Bill, inches. Bill, shut up and let me play. Okay. Next card. All right, all right, I'll, I'll move it. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Kevin. He's, I didn't know if you had range. He's to have me shoot the damn thing, so I will. <laughs> How far do you move? I don't know. You can't only move six inches and shoot. There, six inches. Now, how far is he away from the tank? Can you see the tank? 24, right? Yep. So you see a range of 18? Is that right? <laughs> no, 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 no. The issue was so Kevin is checking his ranges for the battle These in the woods. These guys are, so I have We have a, a stug that's slowly coming I out. I have a machine gun on yes. a tripod. And it, if you throw a figure next to it to be I a have loader. A next to it. There was a, a figure with a box. I have a submachine gun that can't shoot that far. It can shoot 24. Well, apparently any figure I put next to it can be loaded. There's a loader way at the far way end. At the far end. He's yeah, carrying he's the box the of ammo. Oh, I see. Well, I'll put him over here. I didn't set these up. All right. So I've got a submachine, or not some, a tripod machine gun. A submachine gun. Submachine can can that reach? If you're under 24, because the game master screwed up earlier, it is a range of 24. The yeah, same with yes. me. He's under 24. Did, did the machine gun move? No. Is it a tripod? It's a tripod, but it hasn't moved. That All one's right. where it's at. The only guy who's moved is the bazooka guy. All right. So I've got eight for the tripod gun. How many for the submachine gun? Three. 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 So that's 11. 11. 12, 13. Are you firing the bazooka guy again? No. No, he's not. Okay. He's, he's firing his, his small arms fire. Right. I have no idea what One, it is. Through One through four. One through four. One through four? Well, there's four. You might be saving one through six. Yep, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. That was only eight. I have what, six five more. more. Six more. Six six more. Thirteen or fourteen? Thirteen. Thirteen. Five more. Five. Yeah. Mike's got it. Or a total of five. Five. Total of five. 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 Yeah. And what do 
one died. Oh, that's a good save. I don't want three saves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. From the hoods. Yeah. All right. Um, so our next card, Kevin, you're done. I'm our next done. card was a German two. Two, I mean, queen, which is two activations. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take these if you don't mind. Because yeah, the only left, I think, for you are those, those guys. I don't really want one of you guys down there. But I really don't want those guys coming along. And it's still fire. Jeep slash Kubel. Kubel is what it should be. It's yeah, 24 that, for me. 20, yes, regular trucks are 20. The Jeep and Kubers are 24. And close range is 24 inches for these things? Uh, um, there are heavy machine gun in them. So what's the range? Forty-eight. Oh, and it, there's no that is the that, short range is the short range for that belt-fed machine gun that's mounted in there is eighteen. Oh, so I really got to move up. So they come on ten inches, and then they could fire. Mm-hmm. Correct. They, they, they could actually go twelve. Okay, and then are they... And then they can still fire. And then they're heavy machine guns, so I get 10 dice per? No, 8. 8. 8 and 8. Okay, but it reduces his saves? No. No, but Joe's hunkered down behind that big stone wall bunker. Oh, okay. Joe, Walt's trying to just irritate you. He's trying to cheat me. He always does. Well, I don't have Mike or Kevin on the other side of the table to pick on Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so you're picking on me. Thanks. All right, so Walt's getting his machine gun dice ready for the old Mark's guns. So I hit him on one through. You're going to hit him on one through fours because you're over 18. I'll roll again. <laughs> Where's my free free re- re-roll? That was the one. So All right, so one. our Mark's armored car thingies are one, flying up the, two, the snow-covered there's four of them. So you got hit four times, Joe? Yeah, four hits on you, Joe. And Joe, you're in good... You're... I know, I know where I am. Uh, <laughs> okay, was that, is that all you're shooting? So what's... No, that's... Well, that's this group. I have another group that'll be shooting at you in a minute. Okay, well, he rolls those saving throws now. Right. And what's he save on? He's saving on one through eight. So I have one, one dead. And then this guy gets eight dice. Guy oh, you're activating those. So Walt's activating fire. one of the two groups in the woods. This is eight. Mm-hmm. Rifle. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. This is not close enough. He's not close enough. Eleven. Do I get these guys? That's an 18-inch Panzer false, but he has a rifle on his back. He can shoot his rifle. All right, so rifle, rifle. The, the guy that has... A pistol can't shoot, I guess. Correct, because I do actually have a pistol chart. I notice. I get 12 dice. So we're going to do 6 and 6. Uh, 1, 2. So the firepower from this German squad four in the woods. 9s and 10s. And Walt, I'm going to ask you to hold up your Panzerfaust figure. Uh, we uh, survived all the fire. Hold up what? That Panzerfaust figure for the camera. This guy. Yes. Yeah. Now that is custom made. That is a Marx figure, and that Panzerfaust is 3D printed by Josh Warliff. Ah. Uh-huh. And then I glued it in his hand, so that rifleman becomes a Panzerfaust guy. And he has a grenade in the other one. Yes. All right. I shoot the Panzer with a grenade in his other hand. So, <laughs> uh, what do we got that's left? That's, that's it. Well, why don't you move those guys? I, I think we'll hold those walls in reserve. Uh, now, Walt, is there a particular reason you want to hold that staff car that holding your personalized figure in off reserve the <laughs> off the table? <laughs> something tells me the moment he comes on the table, you're going to pull something out of your pocket. No, no. And blow him up. <laughs> I, I do know Kevin and Joseph uh, are really looking forward to trying to put a bazooka shell up your butt. Uh, yeah, I, I, we have a nice plaque to put his head on the wall. Everything, we're ready. <laughs> I don't blame him. Why do we stuff him in a Cooper wagon anyhow? Why didn't he get, get in a Tiger okay, tank? I can see it up through the woods. Woo-hoo. I've got an LMG. And That's two rifles. Cool. Cool. All right, cool. we're gonna let the camera run. I'll edit this thing down some LMG's some other like time. Eight. Yes, belt And I gotta say thank you everyone for putting up with my, my game, my rules, and my funny fifty fours. 
It's just nice to be with friends. You always uh, want to. Uh, well, we're, we're glad relax. you decided to include, include infantry. It was originally going to be tanks only. Yeah. Yeah. The game would have been over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can hit you, but we can't kill you. And uh, you can hit us and kill us. So that makes for a short game. I think you need one through four. I do too. Yep. You do. Now everyone out there, they're they're trying to discern. You know, Mike and Walt, they're really aggressive war gamers, and I know that Joseph Four. and Kevin are doing their best. Four, Kevin, uh, no nines, no tens. <laughs> These guys have been playing together for years and years, no and nine, they're close no friends, as you can see. see. You listen. All right. Can I flip a card? Yes, you may. How many units do we have left for the Germans? Uh, one more here. One oh, no, 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 just the only one that's off the table. We have a, a jack, so at that point we're, we're not going to bring them on, so that, that would end the game. <laughs> okay, does that end right now for turn one? Right, because yeah. everyone's yes. gone. So All why right. don't you take the cards, reshuffle them into the deck, and start over? So, that's what we got to do. Yes. Does anybody want anything to drink? So we have completed yeah, one turn. Everyone's picking up their <laughs> poker chips. You know what, Kevin? I think there is some bourbon up there. Like <laughs> okay, everyone. This is the exciting part. Um, we have completed a turn. And now, Kevin and Joe. Which one are you the overall commander? Joe. Yeah. All right, Joe. Mm -hmm. Just like in the terrible movie, The Battle of the Bulge, Charles Bronson tells the cooks. And the mm. bakers, grab your rifles and get out there and fight. Mm. So you're going to roll 2d10. And roll high. And you get a total of 16, 16 infantrymen. Come out to join the forces. Oh, good. Is that, that one group? group? Right? Is that one group? 16 figures break it up into three five-man type things. Okay. One, six, and two fives. Mm -hmm. All right. Those five, five, and five are any figures in the bin, and you cannot take uh, more than one bazooka and no more than one heavy machine gun if there's one dead. I told you. Okay. If you're a cook, you get a bazooka. So let's reman that building there. There's five. Yeah. Let's reman that building. Okay. So the bakers and cooks are coming out. There's two. Charles Bronson from Battle of the Bulge has ordered them all out. Walt has gone upstairs to get everyone's sodas, so he has no idea this is happening. <laughs> uh, Mike, as second in command, do you have any input on the... Uh... I know nothing. I know nothing. I see nothing. What, what do we have, 16? 16 men. Five and six? And you can take the lid off the plastic tub of infantry that's below if you want different troops. No, these are fine. Yeah. Okay. And we have, this is spooky, we have exactly 16 dead. They had exactly 16 dead, everyone. Okay. Now what do we what do we do with them? They can... Uh, so... Uh, no, it's probably six. Because uh, range is... Is long range? Or you're you're He's using over twenty four. And his eighty eight's long range is a thirty six. Oh, okay. He's under 30. Are you yeah, under thirty? Not move. Yeah, he's under thirty six. So you're under thirty six. You I'm need. Sure he is. I didn't measure thirty six. You need a one through five, and then you add two to it because you're an eighty eight. Oh, one. Ooh. <laughs> so, um, Mike, where where are you putting that eighty eight up? Kevin's uh, half track. Yes. Yeah, the half track is a five. So one die, you gotta get a five or higher, and you add a four to it. So roll a ten, and let's really see it go up and go. I mean, he has to get a five or higher, and he adds four. He can't miss. I'm a roll a seven. Well, if he rolled Plus a one, four. it would have been a five, and that wouldn't have been a. He said five or higher. Right. Uh, no, no. He, he got, can't. Now yeah. he's gonna go through your armor. And I did. I and he's a seven. He Plus does. four. He blows up. Yeah. He blows no, up. Goodbye. Why, don't they put smoke on it? Oh, yes. So we're going to put smoke on the half track. And these two guys are dead? Uh, yes, Wouldn't you are. think? <laughs> well, not necessarily. You hear about these miraculous uh, stage miraculous. stories where people are not killed. We should have been. Now, infantry. So, 
They're going to fire the net over there. What do you mean? Okay. Let me get out of your way, Bill. You can. So, one group, group to group. It doesn't have to. And we have a German uh, 88 went right through Kevin's super half track. Very disappointing. Four shots from the machine gun from the hull into the building. All I want to make sure is everyone's having fun. Joe, are you having fun? Yes. Mike's yes. having fun now, but he wasn't having fun earlier when Kevin was shooting. That. I only have fun when I'm shooting. I'm five saves into the building. I'm seven. Five I'm saves. seven years old again, playing with my Mark Street soldiers. Well, uh, that's the nostalgic nice, feel. This fun. isn't made. Yeah. This this game isn't made to be detailed like a full action. No. Or it, Bolt action isn't detailed either. Bolt action is fistful of dice. You know, it, okay, it, that was here. Now, that like was your that tank. Now you got the other tank. Like Little War G O G my game. Now see if you can take care of that damn little steward. That's the goal. Uh oh, the tiger tank is going after the steward. Where is the steward? Kevin, can you point to the steward? Because no one can see it in camera land. It's hiding behind a building. You don't need to see it because it's not going to be there. I'm within 36. You are. I'm just checking. Okay. All right. Your 36 is short range. Seven or less. That's a five. Woo! That's a ten. If you're going to add four to your die roll, and a steward's armored car or armored is a seven. It's a seven. Thank you, Charles. So roll a five, and you're five and above. You blow it up. Nine. Come on. Smoke, please. <laughs> so Kevin keeps calling for smoke. Kevin, is there a, re a reason you keep calling for smoke? Well, because well, I don't mean the, the vehicle. Thanks to you, mean to me. <laughs> uh, Kevin, can you hold your steward up for the camera? Or I guess I should change the camera angle because all your armor is going up. No. But don't worry. Not, not the armor, just those guys. <laughs> I might as well keep some. No, I have no more vehicles. Only Joe has vehicles. Well, Bill, Bill next turn will give you some more. It would build oh, up. That's right. Does he have any reinforcements for the Germans? The 7th no. Armored Division will show up. Where, yeah. Where's, where's our, our all-four German artillery that comes in, Bill? It's on the, it's on the recording. I know book. nothing. Wait a minute. You want all-four artillery. <laughs> we got a lot more artillery. Yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious, yeah, everyone. But it's and the airstrikes. Um, you're still back in Paris yeah. snoozing. Mike looks like he's having fun. <laughs> Same over there. He's blowing stuff up. That is fun. Oh, one hit. Now, I do have to say that this scenario yep. is far superior to oh, my role when I played it in the album. Let me just tell you that. So, Joe, do you like this game better than the Alamo? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you remember the Bob Deadwood Flames of War game we had here many years ago? Yes, I do. That was a real debacle. Every game Bob ever ran <laughs> is, a debacle. is a debacle. So, for Mike Kelly's there are only... <laughs> are we done, Mike? Yes. All right, I'm going to flip a card, and it is German once again. Now, this looks sickeningly familiar. <laughs> I guess I'll try to fire my Tiger. Um... So if I'm within 36, I need a seven or better. Uh, You're within 36. Yeah. Yeah. What? What's your target? I rolled a four. Hit that Sherman. All right. He's aiming at a Sherman. Mm -hmm. All right. This is gonna look bleak. Three and four is only seven. It really sucks. It's tough to blow you up. Twang. All right. So my machine gun will open these up. Shermans could stand up the tiger so well, huh? Well, After getting hit. Yeah. Well, it's not that we're really being hit. It's that they're real close. Yeah, they're, they're, they're close At to 18 hit. inches and under, you get another plus one. It's not 18 or under. It's, uh, so, it's like 26, 7, 27. Walks blazing away with his whole machine gun. Yeah, I'm throwing them in too. So it's just one hit on the guys in the building there, Joe, in the brown building. All right. Nine or ten. Eight. They're good. Yeah, they're they're good. good. Now, in Donald Featherstone's Battle for Model Soldiers, he intentionally gave all the armor a little higher value so it didn't get blown up immediately. Right. Um, so that was one of the things that he actually has in his book. And you felt compelled to change that. I, I kept it. The, the, the Churchill's got an armor class of an 11, believe it or not, in his book. And that Churchill was, was a fun. good tank. Yeah. Are we ready for me to flip a card, Mike? Yes. Sure. 
We are German again. Kevin's going to complain. Uh, um, you do. You got a stug there. No, I'm resigned to my fate here. All the way to the German. German. We'll never move. Oh, yes. Um, that's hey, a super. That be a uh, I'm going to change the camera angle. This is incredible. Okay, we're playing with 54 millimeter stuff. So uh, six, a, 60 inches out. So you need a one through four? Is that correct? That sounds right. I haven't moved. No, no, but you, you're over 36. You're over. Um, Yes, the 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 stug is a plus is a, has an armor piercing value of a two, has a maximum range of seventy two. Is it? That's my D. It only has an AP of two, and it's an anti tank tank. Um, that one is a is a stug, eight slash stug, three. Stug has the best stats yeah, in the war. It's that was. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, first, of, you're at long range, Mike. You're going to need a one through four to hit. Yep. Oh, that's terrible. I rolled a three. Okay. Okay, he hits. Now, to penetrate, that's a Sherman. you got to roll a ten or higher on a D10, but you're going to add one because of the See, flank the shot. Mike rolls, he's always going to hit. So never going to penetrate. You need to roll an eight, nine, or ten. So you get a plus three to your die roll. Total three? Yeah, but you need an eight, nine, or a ten. Eight. Ah, we blew it up! <laughs> All right, everyone. The stug from the stug from six feet away has just blown up a Sherman. Now you don't get that kind of wargaming excitement when you're using 15 millimeter or six millimeter Baracus. So let's. When's the last time you've seen a stug blow up a Sherman from six feet away on a table? Got to admit. Ah! Nah, you set it up right and still put it on top, though. All right. Sorry yeah. about that, Joe. But no, no, no. This is... That yeah. stug came out of the woods and... Who better than to, for, for Mike to blow your Sherman up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, better Mike than Walt. Yes. Always better Mike <laughs> Walt's, than Walt. Walt's got a tiger tank 24 inches away. And, and I've got a machine gun. My only complaint is these rules were written for Mike because... Low rolls <laughs> <It's won't> work. <laughs> he always gets low rolls. Um, Joe, you uh, took that like a good sport. Thank you. And there's a building over there. It's this building. Off the table at the moment. Remember the time I won the Battle of the Bulge in Bill's game? <laughs> <laughs> Mike wasn't even there. <laughs> so everyone out there in YouTube land, we think Mike should get an iron cross for shooting six feet oh, across the table and taking out a yes. Sherman. I've got these guys, those guys, shooting over there. Now they are, yeah, they're like it's 18, so, okay, so that's their turn. They've got the SMG and three rifles. Okay. And I need that was six. And we're letting the camera go. Boy, that was, uh, eight. It was surprising because it was Mike that rolled it. <laughs> Don't five worry, fours. Joe. You got revenge. I know Bill. Bill's got he's Which got tank right destroyers right? off the table coming yeah, on. Yeah, the the, no, the specific the card for that to happen hasn't come up. <laughs> well, rifles are no, they could be lost on a road to Mountain D. Could be on the wrong That's right. That's right, Bill. I need to I need to order a jack. Fours. They're all long range, so it's fours. I need to have. Josh, make me a couple 3D printed tank, uh, tank destroyers. Uh, oh, speaking of Josh, when are you going back up to Gettysburg again? Next week. Not yet. Can you see Josh to pick up my stuff? Yeah. And let me give you the 20 bucks now. Okay. Because I own 20 bucks. Another German card has come up, everyone. But I guess look at it this way, Joe. We'll be able to retaliate eventually with So no, the bazooka, uh, the Panzer Faust, this thing only left, shoots yeah. how far? Um, we are doing bazookas. A range of 24. 24. Our Panzer Pulse should be like the Piat with a range 18. of 18. Is that and fair with everyone? And you can yeah. move half and, and still fire. fire. And half for infantry is? Six inches. So I you have to be. Okay. You're right in the middle of the field, shoot it. So are you going to run that Panzerfaust guy out there and try to hit that Sherman? Hey, Walt, you have your... <laughs> He's got a tiger. Has three tigers in the field. He's worried about well, that. I can't, well, no. you already took out the national. 
Oh, well, um, yeah, well, the, the, yeah, yeah, well, the oh, Tigers yeah. have a... That's what you get for an 88 on a Jeep. <laughs> 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 yeah. Stupid Nazi. <laughs> As opposed to the Americans that, after this war, will wind up putting anti-tank guns on Jeeps. Yeah. And 50 cals during the war. So if I, I get up to here and get within 24, I can hit him with fives? A little bit better than a Jeep. Yes. Okay, so that's what I'll do. I'm serious though, Mike. I was not going to bring this thing out till Bill told me the secret that it got 32 dice when it fired. I, I made a Joe, mistake. I'm moving up my machine. Yeah, though, guys. game masters are not perfect, yeah. and I've had a very rough couple weeks with I know, home life just issues. Giving you a hard time. There's six oh, on the first roll. We love you. If we can give you a hard time. Sherman six, is a armor class seven, ten, eight, nine. Ten. Ten. Ten shots on them. You see them on nines and tens, Joe. All right, I know. Something's off. I know. Something's way to hell. That's for play balance. Otherwise, yeah. You know. Um, nine, Sherman nine, could nine, be a nine. Two 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 and then you got two uh, more coming. I know, I know. Two more. It depends just, on the just, just his seventy you. his. Dollar Feather Stone's upgraded book in 72. He brings the Sherman to a nine. Again, the All Churchill right, goes to a dead. twelve. And the panther becomes the same as yeah, a tiger one. That's, that sounds correct. So yeah. he did make because some the, adjustments. The, Next the, card. Tiger one for the vast majority of it. Kevin, you're going to be upset. We have German two units, and it could be any German <laughs> units. There goes another the Sherman. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles around yeah, here. Yeah. Well, you know, they Don't haven't worry, even... worry, we got cooks. <laughs> you got to remember, they haven't even gotten to the buildings. I'm not mean, trying to get to the buildings because I'll get yeah. close enough to so I hit. shoot us. Okay, what are you aiming at? You I'm aiming at the Sherman. Sherman. All right. Now, it's easier to take it. And I blow it up. Eight plus four is 12. The Sherman. The that was yes. cooked. So yep. um, what happened to that Sherman? He it got, got blown up. He got blown up. Okay. Right. Is there something else you want to do? Oh, he could just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm thinking I'm firing a That's Well, at least it's already moved. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It got to move and attempt to do right. something. Before so, how come no one has done a Sherman dog imitation or anything? You know, oh, woof, woof. Kelly's Heroes. Oh. Because we don't have already German. Because we don't have a Sherman with a 76, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I need oh, to get some 3D printed ones. That they put on the Sherman. We're sending a joke to the Sherman. So, Sanders. have you activated the second <laughs> unit? Uh, Mike's doing it now. Okay, we're firing HE into that building. Is that you? the template? Uh, it'll go into the building and then you'll roll your saving throws. Uh, Just everybody will. Okay. So. Um, is it an 88? This big, yes. And okay. It's a great big building. Hit it. is, uh, it's a four die burst. First roll to see if your shell hits with one die. He's under 30. I rolled a six. That's a hit. It's an 88, right? Because you yes. get a plus two right, to hit. So All right, now you roll four dice. I do or he does. You do for, this is the high explosive part of it. And then each one of those gets to roll four dice. Every one of those hits gets to roll four dice. He what just, do I need? You need one through fives. Uh, two. So you got hit twice. So I roll two dice. Yeah. Why? Why is the You roll. So. Well, he's out of nine. Those are tens now. He should be on one through fives because on one through fours because he's in the open. No, no he's not. Who's he? H E no H E drops your your cover. No, it doesn't. Oh, that's training. All right, Mike is firing his home machine gun. It's it's an One. interesting game. One. Luckily, we're all friends here. We're nine. That's a, that's a hit. Goober the traveling bear is here too. And then I've got two rifles. No hits. Wow. I'm still amazed that Stug fired at six feet away. <laughs> oh, I do want to tell you. Is the is the camera off? Do you want me to turn it on or off? Okay, I gotta turn the camera off. So it is a German card once again. Uh, well, I got the infantry there that can fire. I got these guys that are infantry that can. Fire. So Walt is yes. determining what he should do. Mike, have you got somebody you want to shoot? Well, I can bring on you. 
tell them that. So Walt's <laughs> refusing to bring on his Cooper wagon and armored car unit that represents him. That's For right, some reason, Walt is a radio. He's he's right? commanding. He's from, commanding from the rear. <laughs> <laughs> Walt's on a radio. He, he's uh, Carol O'Connor. Walt, Walt is back pushing little tanks around on a battlefield map. <laughs> you guys are so funny. What are you doing now? These are firing there. I got 11 dice. What do you need? One to four? Hit. Just one hit there. And I got, I got more dice coming. Two, three. Three hits, Joe. All right, the Sherman advance is slow. It's... Yeah, I'll say, I would say so. I saved them all. Considering that if job, we got within infantry range, that uh, he'd be mowing our infantry down. No, you'd be safe. We haven't had a card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, but he had a run of them last time. You should be going up a half a move. Now, that's there. a waste of an ace of hearts. Yeah. Because have you moved anybody yet? Just the Sherman. <laughs> and they're blown up. So yeah. you, you can move somebody a second time that hasn't moved. <laughs> Yeah, blowing up German. It's so, moving. Uh, the tracks are still running. Do you have anything on that you want to do, Kevin? Well, I guess I could fire this group. That's sure, go on. All right. I thought Bill liked you. I did, too. <laughs> I know no, my wife does. Now he's, he's moving away, and we'll never see him again. No, I, we're, we're not Virginia moving. We're, down there. We're, 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 Where else do we should we move? Will you go ahead? The nice thing about it is Bill can, when he retires, he can spend all his time down at Gloucester, and then he can come up here and vacation with us in Perry Hall. Yeah, I figured I'd just stay here a couple nights a week while I'm more game with you guys and sleep Bill, on the you're couch. you're one of the few people that would be welcome. True. Well, I know Kevin and Joe would be, too. Oh, no, we're not welcome uh, now. Well, <laughs> Joe might be. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. I've got... I already told my bride that, nope, I'm not allowed I've got two things going on here. I've got a shot with the bazooka at that shook. Do you want to do that first? Yes, I do. All right, so we have a bazooka round coming in at that stug. And that stug, by the way, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, the Gettysburg Area Gamers, as we were playing, had a stug. Yeah. Some of them complained it should be called the stug. And the others, and then we lost 25, 30 minutes of play time over the arguing of the name of the Stug So we're Stug. wasting five minutes now? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> telling us about it. Yeah. Go ahead, row one through four. One through four. Three! Did you hit? Yes. Okay. If I needed a one through four and I rolled the three, yes, I hit. Two. You ready to penetrate? The Stug's Do I just get one die? Right one die, row high. A one. <laughs> What, what's his AP? What, what his is his, his arm, armor piercing is a two. The bazooka only is a two? Well, it, well the stud only has a two. You, you <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I know, but your armor you, your, your armor is like a, a 10 or 11. Yeah, and I've got skirts on the side. <laughs> well, no, I think that is with the skirt. Probably with yeah, the skirts. 10 with a skirt. Right. So, ca but walk. When he rolls a oh, one, it wouldn't matter. No, I know, I know, but I was just... The machine gun, right? I, you know what well, it is? Yes. We play Chain yeah, of Command, so it's like... I think in Chain of Command, you have an armor of seven. I'm just, that's what I'm doing. I'm just comparing it to, to other game systems. Well, yeah. Kevin's bazooka shell bounced off of Mike's hearty plate. The, the tripod machine gun is eight? eight. Yes. Okay. Plus a loader. Yeah, the loader's next to him on the other side. No, I mean, it counts them out. This guy's a submachine gun. Is he too far away? 24, 24 inches. 24. No, he's, he's good. That's two. That's, That's all ten. Submachine gun is two or three? Three. 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 Eleven, and then three more. Fourteen. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, submachine guns are three. three is fourteen, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Three three is is yeah. yeah. So. So if you roll seven dice. Yeah. Need a row high for that bazooka round. Like eight? Oh, eight, nine, ten. That actually has. Um, it's now. A, it, it, yeah, he didn't penetrate. Ah, it. no, he gets a plus one to penetrate for a flank shot. So it's an eleven. So it's it becomes a flank shot on the under start. eighteen. Yeah, yeah, it is. Under is 18. it on the flank? Under eighteen. No, I don't know if it's under eighteen. No, you're not under eighteen. No. No. It's, 
plus one that I'm seeing on your chart is on, on my chart. If you flip under over, 18. right, but also here it says flank add one to roll, rear add two. Right. So you have a flank shot. Okay. So you start off with your number is a two for armor piercing. Flank makes you a three. Three plus, plus eight, eight is eleven. And Mike, your armor class on a stug with the plates is a ten. Yeah. Boo! So, we have one message for the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> what? May I get you some smoke? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to shoot this infantry again. They're going to shoot at this vet group okay. this time. And there were... Seven and seven. He don't count. I thought it was what we came up with, 14. So that's stuck. That's right. We have a stuck that's been so hit. So if you want to bring them on now, you can. Like, yeah. He can't be seen. From well, him. no, they so. can't be, but you can bring them up and start paddling the shit out of that building. I think that pom pom seven. might do some damage. Seven and seven. Needing fours. Ooh, there's four to start with. Now let's see what else we get. And You're holding a blue ball, though. Well, you know. Two more. Six. It's our better technology. We have better weapons. We're able to can, hit. can you hand that to Mike? Oh, yeah. This, this is 3D printed, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's pretty solid. That's cool. That was one of the mistakes, right? We needed a destroyed stool. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, I love it. So, um, Kevin, we'll ask you really quick, what happened with that stoog? We blew it up. What stoog? <laughs> oh. You mean the former stoog that is now a pile of burning scrap iron? Well, you know, Mike fought gallantly with that. Hey. He still gets an iron cross. No, he had a lucky shot, but he paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. And who are they going to give it to? He's dead. Well, you know. Mike still has a Tiger 1 and a Tiger 2, so I don't think he's complaining. Yeah, but they're not moving up to do anything. They're afraid of us, Joe. I don't think so. We've won the morale, the moral victory over them. Two units, American. All right. About time. All right, Joe, what do you want to do? We've lost all our good guys. Uh, all our ridicular guys are dead. Yeah, well, I, I still have a bazooka here. Yeah, but the bazooka only shoots, what, 18? 24. 24. 24 for the bazooka and 18 for the Panzer Paw. So once again, yeah, the game master failed to update a chart. No, it's, his it's his fault. My bazooka's no good Always trying to be My fair, though, Walt, Mike, and within, Joe. Uh, it's, within, uh, it's within range of uh, Walt's uh, okay. Oh, you're going to fire a bazooka? Yeah, it's a bazooka. Um, so it, one through five? One through five. Here he goes, one through five, and Joe rolls a nine. The bazooka shell flies over the Mark's armored car. So, so then I take them, the rest of my small arms can't uh, hurt them? They will roll on saving throws of one through eight. It could be like being in cover. Or, right. can, I, or can I shift the other guys oh, to shoot oh, in the yeah. now, shoot over here. Now, can the game master give a suggestion? No. Sure. Uh, no. I will not give any suggestions. <laughs> because usually you, you wind up having to correct yourself later. Well, it, it, the, okay, I have I have one plus, rifle. Plus, I, I plus one, they, they tend to be pro-American suggestions. All right. Well, I have I have one I have one rifleman and and one BAR that will shoot at Walt in the wood line. Okay, and Walt in the wood line is saving throw of one through six. Okay, but I and to hit him I need one through four. Why do you only have one rifle? Because the other ones are dead. Well, this is two groups. Yeah. Never mind. You want to activate them both? No, I'm just activating oh. one. Well, which one had the bazooka? The one on the left. Over here. Why don't you shoot at the car? Oh, I, I did. I, I did. What you're saying. <laughs> no, I it's your infantry. <laughs> they can't hurt it. They so, can't hurt it. No. He I'm, just saves I'm, on I'm, a I'm, one through eight. You kill the crew. <laughs> no, I'm going to shoot at the guy. These are a one through six saving throw. They're a one through eight. So you're one yeah. through four, Joe, because of rain. Right. Uh, oh, three hits. Three hits, Walt. Mm. Right. Dead, one dead. 
I want to get rid of him. I want to get rid of him. Well, right. Now, do you want to do another group down there, or should I do one up here? Uh, do you have a, a good shot at this point, or or well, any good shots? Uh, let me long, take my I'll other do. one. Then. Go ahead. Yeah. Right, so I have another. Eight. I have another BAR three, and uh, three, four, two, five. two riflemen. You five more guys coming there, Joe. Yep. The the Germans are pressing hard, though. Uh, two hits. Dead, dead. Whoa, dead eye. That's Ooh. that. M1 Garrett fire. Superior technology and training. We yes. have marksmen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Way to go, Joe. You're paid. Yeah. You're giving me hell. All right. Picked off a couple guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. And we have American two units can activate with a red face card. Well, I so guess. You have two units you can activate. I can put them on Overwatch. That's a good idea. You want me to activate two, Joe? Yeah, you go ahead. I'll be back. Uh, uh, the red one. Five, six, seven total. In now the open. One through four. That's that squad right there. No, that squad right there. Well done, Kevin. Next card. Uh -huh. All right, here we go, and it's German. Germans. You want to bring your pom poms off? Yeah. Now that that also has a four die machine gun in it, Mike. I see that. Okay. It's got a pom pom and a machine gun. You better check that. It's probably really only a two die. <laughs> it's four <laughs> down. How far does the pom pom go? That fires the same as a 37 millimeter. It just doesn't have any bonus for armor penetration. Does that make sense? Sure. Ah, but Walt's come on. All right, now we're in business. All right, I gotta get a close up of Walt. All right, Walt is actually on the table. Um, his figure, Mike, would you mind um, holding up Walt's figure for us? <laughs> there he, there he, there he is. You see the likeness and he's carrying a baton. All right, Walt, you're on the table. Everyone's looking to kill you off. Uh, does Mike have one too? No, no, Mike doesn't. Okay, everyone. What happened at the end of the two, deck was German units. infiltrators have arrived. Uh, the bigger unit. They and unfortunately for Joe, they are randomly arrived there. They are now shooting okay. his infantry okay. there. Yes, and I'm Joe has them. lost two figures from the German. And I'm going to swing over to Mike because he is running the German paratroopers that came in um, to cause havoc. Uh, no, Mike, nothing. can you... Uh, I know nothing. I see nothing. Ah. And uh, that German unit is armed with submachine guns, and they're behind the American lines. <laughs> devastating, Schultz. devastating. That's Captain or, or uh, Commandant Clink. We have Americans for the next card that came up. Uh, may I? Uh, you're in charge, Joe. Well, is there anything that you want to do? Yeah, but I can't do it. It's more pressing. There's nothing more pressing than you retaliating in some way against them Yahoo's. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I got four shots. Now, um, Mike, I'm going to say your Germans are behind a, a stone they wall there. They are behind. I have no complaint about that. Uh, Joe is really lucky here, I think. Uh, one we five. got uh, one hit. No, you don't know. No, one through five. Yeah. One through five, so it was a one. It's no, just a so one. Our, our German infiltrators and Roll Mike's. One through eight. They're all one. All right, okay, so no hits. So Mike made a saving throw. All right, so that's causing a little bit of headache for the Americans behind their lines. Kevin's dealing with it well. We have another American card up. You want to, you want to fire that bazooka, Joe? Yeah, while well, it's still there, we're going to shoot at one of the uh, armored cars. cars. Yeah. All right. 
points. Yeah, we're within 24 at this yeah. point. Yeah. So Joe needs a one through five. Five. And oh, the nope. shell misses. <laughs> we have a German card up. Let me, uh, well, you know, here's the deal. Um, They're no longer, well, one of those units is... They've already forward. fired. I, uh, what's in that building there? None of your business. In America, <laughs> uh, there's no bazooka. You know, I don't know if you necessarily have to tell Walt there's a bazooka or not in the building. Well, I, you're an American. I every just told him there was. The <laughs> question is, am I lying or not? That's a bazooka. There might be two in there. Well, he's got bakers and cooks now running yeah, around. Yeah, that's true. These were bad. They should have only gotten rifles, but <laughs> no. You decided to give them machine guns and that's everything else. Every American has a bazooka. You know that. You remember Flames of War. Everybody I'm already in close range with these guys, aren't I? Um, yeah. If you're under... 24 with machine guns? I think it's 18, Walt. All right. Yeah. So those two little Mark's armored car things I like how the are really move. causing some havoc. The, the wheels move nice. And Walt says... You must have greased them. You know, I think that's from... Uh, do you want to buy one? You know, we, um, you know, for 49. You should kick the tires. <laughs> I'm hitting you on a one through five. Although those guys are no longer in, behind the wall. No, they're they? not. They're they're. Uh, Let they're, me fire at them. Well, I want to kill the bazooka boys. One through five. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven on the first round. Seven hits. So so roll for the one fire at you. Yeah, seven hits, but he saves on. He, he just doesn't want to roll a nine or a ten. Yeah. Uh, he saved everything. Save them all. That's five, but you said how many hits were there? Seven. 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 Let me do the other two. Joe is holding out gallantly. Yeah, for the minute, for the moment. Yeah, they all see. Okay. And the other other match. Miss, miss. That, that church courtyard hit, area in hit, the, is hit, hit five. Five. You can do it, Joe. Uh, what? A nine. All right. All right. So you lost your loader. They'll send the metal to your right. wife. To your next card. All right. Here we go with another card, everyone. And it is American two. two. A king came up. So with the king, of yeah. course, they get to activate two units. They have, ha they have no armor left at all. And it has not arrived. Uh, the reinforcement card for them has not arrived yet. Uh, Kevin, do we have any um, good shots from the guys in the house there? No. No. Have no good shots. No. Well, the house that I'm that I'm in there. Yeah. No. Anything over what? 18. 24. 24? Well, 24 for the bazooka. There ain't no 20. bazooka. I keep telling you. Know, when, when you yeah, there's a bazooka. <laughs> How many riflemen are left? Very vehement. That means there's a bazooka. Riflemen. One, two, three. Three riflemen. And then a submachine gunner. And now a, a, a BAR. Oh, so three riflemen, including a BAR? No, or, or three riflemen the and a BAR. Okay, so that's, three, that's six. Right. Who I do you want to shoot at? Walk me open. These guys? Yeah. yeah. We should change your name to the senile heads. <laughs> the senile wargaming group. <laughs> County Pass 10 has been an issue today, too. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got uh, One through four. two hits so far and three hits. Three hits. That's on who? The guys in the open. These guys here? Yes. Yeah. You can fire through that tank? Sure. It doesn't through obstruct your visibility? Is all, is no. the that's a dead. That's a save. That's a dead. Two dead. It's not bad, Joe. Well, we're going to be uh, executed shortly. Now we, ha we have another activation? Yep. Somebody else can go. Let me activate these guys. Six, is that right? Uh, should be eleven. 11. So it's eight and three, right? Oh, that's right. Eight, eight, Joe, while while Kevin is doing his shooting, and they're shooting at the infantry. Joe, I might want to get a quick uh, interview from you. You're an American holding this flank. Um, do you think uh, you're how you're doing against the Germans? Oh, I think I have three guys left here and a few over there. So I think uh, if the if the Germans were moving a little faster, we'd already be overrun. Uh, and uh, so so I don't think we're 
long to this world very long. They haven't tried. They would try. There's nothing here to to stop them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we have. No, we don't have another one. Dad. Just one. Dad. All right. I just asked the, we're getting ready for lunch soon, I asked the um, Americans their input, how are things going on the German side? Uh, losing lots of infantry. And we've lost some tanks. So, well. And how much armor do the Americans they, have left? Oh, they have no armor left, but they've got thousands of bazookas. No, we don't have <laughs> thousands of bazookas. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, All right, we do. have a bazooka debate. Um, Kevin, will you you don't tell me where the bazookas are? Will you please tell Mike how many bazookas oh, are on the I table? So on the table. I, so let's see. I see. There's so many you can't count. I see four. There are four bazookas. Yes. They're not thousands. Right. So right. Okay. he even gave bazookas to the cooks. <laughs> we have a German activation card is the next one to oh, come up. Saving me left. Everybody's moving. Here. There, I'm guessing. There. Over there, yeah. yeah. So I think Walt has uh, gone up to get lunch ready. So I'll pause the camera here. All right, everyone, we're stopping for lunch. We have a German Black 5 that we'll play when we get back down from lunch. I peeked, and there is a card coming up that's going to be pivotal in Battle of the Bulge after lunch. Pretty exciting. Stay tuned for more Battle of Bulge action. <laughs> well, everyone, we are back from lunch, and we are getting ready to flip the card. I know for a fact what this card is. Half this table is going to be grumpy. The other <laughs> half are going to be happy at the Battle of the Bulge. So, here we go. The card is oh, it's a, German a card. Black Joker. It's a German reinforcement. Which is German reinforcements. Ooh. So, I need one person to roll a D, 3D10 for German infantry. Who can do that for you me? Roll three of them. Here, Bill. 3D10. Roll up. 801. 19. 19. Uh, you get 19 figures out of the plastic top. Now, I need someone to roll 1D10 and half it rounding up. 1D10. Eight, four, this is, four. 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 is this one Four big group, uh, Bill? Yep, anything out of there. Well, no, but it, it, it's going to be broken up. Broken up, up into your groups. Groups, groups. of five, five or ten. So what was our number on that one? Four. Uh, four. Final was a four. four. All right, so walk here, German. This uh, Panzer Grenadier unit has arrived. Now, please roll 1d10 and, well, the you showed up, Bill. You, and we, half it. Things were going away since you showed up. Rounding up. Two. Four. Two. So that's four. Four. Two. Two. two Panzer three J's. Three J's. Panzer four. Or Panzer IVs. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Holy sheep shit, Batman. So you got to find all your figures, put them on the edge, and then they're all activated units. Well, three. It won't make any difference because they ain't moving. <laughs> so there's six. There's one group. Well, Walt, or Walt, you know Joe, our song, So long, fingers, you know you. Yeah, another group. Oh, no. yeah. Okay, everyone. So we are no, allocating our German so, reinforcements. We're going to yeah. pause here while we get these set up. <laughs> well, everyone, we have our Mike's German. Done, Mike's done exceptionally well over there. That's out of that one roll you had with the bazooka boy. That's nothing Mike did. Well, everyone. Oh, and we have Bill now has joined us. Thank you, Bill, for coming. He took out that Sherman with That's the stew. <laughs> he took out the Sherman with the stew. He took out the half dragon. He took out the steward. Are the half tracks considered a group? Or uh, are they just a group of their... The half track with five figures or four figures, whatever you've it's allocated. Yeah, so we basically have six more, okay. six more groups. Okay. Holy cow. All right, next card. And these are all considered activated. Um, they're where they are. Everything is functional right now. Mike, you can bring on one of your three groups. What? You don't need a card? Oh no, I meant they need a card to activate somebody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they have not activated. No. Okay. So we have a German card up. 
And we have German reinforcements. And I don't dare look to see when the American reinforcement cart is coming. No, it's not coming at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is in there. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. There's no point standing. Yeah. Yeah, that one there dropped in behind. Oh, very good. If we ever get the move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. How far did they go? Eighteen. Woo! -wee. Okay, our half track is moving up. Mike is uh, being aggressive. Well, that's what you should have done from the first turn. Next card. Next card, sir. We have another German card. We'll give it to you, Bill. All right. Well, I'll take the uh, You can move the tank. Can move the tank up. You can. If you move less than half, if you, you can still shoot. If you move seven, you can still shoot. Just move. Move yeah. up yeah. seven and shoot. You have to get off the table. That's all you have to do. Yeah, the, your pans are four. Uh, Next card. Bill moves 14 inches. That's what I did. Next card. American, four. Uh, number doesn't matter. It's. Uh, well, how far does infantry move? 12, Twelve. inches. All right. Well, they've already moved. They have, okay. But they haven't. Okay. They are now. Back them up. Well, Bill, I'm sorry. Well, would they measure from here? No, this is fine. Yeah. So they're yeah, all Well, they're, they're, they're retreating now, so the game's over. This guy's like to join a winning battle. Yeah. The game's because over. Because you joined it, we're winning. Because even if they get reinforced, well, uh, even if they get reinforcements now, they're not going to I'm going fight. to flip a card. Flip a card. Americans. Another American unit moves. They Mark. move, but these guys haven't. Those guys will run off the table. So another unit has left the table. Yep. German. Mike, you go. That's because we know what we've been telling them the whole game. They will just mow these guys down if we try Kevin, to stand. You're starting to sound like a broken record, bud. Well, I have this uncanny power. Whatever I say, I can do it too. I tell you the absolute truth. I've been doing the ADLG for years, uh, and you don't right. believe me. <laughs> German tank has moved forward. We have another German card. That's up to you, Bill. And they can move 18. Yeah. That's going to be a great picture. Especially with me leading, me standing up in the front of the half track. Four You're here. I know, but now I'm up front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're leading it. <laughs> Next card. Okay. I need a blue marker. The, uh, uh, Mike, back to you, there sir. You it's you another know. German card. Uh, oh, Bill, you need a blue marker. Oh, you got one. Okay. Thank you. So our German yeah. grenadier unit that arrived that was rolled randomly for half tracks, infantry, and tanks is. And the woods doesn't slow you down. Uh, we have no movement issues for the woods, just the sighting. It's very lightly sparse woods. Okay. Next no, card. It's very light. We have another German card. Me again. You again. Uh, uh, here we go. On the road to victory now. Have fun moving. <laughs> so we have half tracks moving now. All right, next card. And we have an American card. Are there any Americans left to move? Uh, these guys have not moved. Do they have a blue chip on them? Nope. So another American unit has retreated from the table. There's another village a little ways down the road. <laughs> True. Yeah, I think it's called Marseille. And more crooks. <laughs> two Americans. We have two American unit card up. Uh, uh, is that it? But everybody has moved, so nobody can move. Okay, I'm going to flip another card. We have an American ace, which activates two units ah, of any type. That have already right. moved. Even ones who have already moved. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so we'll just. Well, I'll move again over here. You want to move there? Yeah. I just. A parting shot. Where's Where do you want me to measure from, Bill? Where? Uh, I don't know. Where are the figures right in the house? Yeah. Just measure from the edge of the house going out wherever you want to head to. Are you bailing out or are you going to hold to the last? We're bailing out. We don't hold to the last. <laughs> hold this, until relieved. This this group doesn't even have a bazooka. Uh, and Ten inches. I don't know what that does for my... Okay, they're head. all off the board. Uh, you have a plus one in penetration. 
So you're you're hitting on a one two four. Probably not good. No, your bazooka shell missed. Okay. Well, the other guys are shooting. I got a machine gun, heavy machine gun, and a. Oh, that's a submachine gun. I guess he puts the range on a submachine gun. 24. 24. Oh, that's 24. Okay, the both. So that's eight and three. Eight So Kevin is fours. Yep. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Three. People forget about that. I don't think there's anybody for them to shoot at anymore. Well, I've got guys that are not in there. They're all in the vehicle. Oh, well. And it's. Vehicle cover and a half track is a one through eight. No, no, you downed all the cover to from eight to one to six. Oh, is that high explosive? No. Then it's a one through eight. Oh, all right. And one die. All right. Well done. <laughs> is that with a bazooka? No, no. That was his rifle. Bazooka fire. missed. Kevin, did you do two? Yeah, you hit I did one, one and Joe did one. Four, okay. Yep. We have. A German ace. Ooh. Now the German anybody, ace, of course. Is there any American targets out there that are really worthwhile going for? No. Well, these guys are still here. So you could get that. I can get that off the table. So is that what? If so we do eight. that, we win the game. Well, he moves eighteen. Yeah. But if I go twice. Oh. I guess if he went twice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So he's zipping along. So if he gets off the board, does that win the game? Well, they're they're heading they're heading to Telly Savalas and the ammunition and fuel depot. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a vehicle Make heading off. Page, and all the guys are in it. So, so here's what you're going to want to do. Yep. You're going to do this is the Martin. I'm okay. sorry. So we are getting near the end of the Battle of the Bulge, and we have a German half track, and just with the Panzer Grenadier unit arriving, it's overwhelming. German infantry armor support has arrived. The American reinforcement card failed to come. All right, I'm gonna. Mike, can I ask you I'm gonna the backdrop. interview our people. Well, we are um, getting ready to wrap up. I'm going to say that, in a way, I think the Americans put up an incredible fight. The the Germans really lucked near the end for a massive amount of reinforcement rolls. That was helped with Bill that arrived. Uh, Mike did a fantastic job with his, his Stug and his long range shot on the Shermans. And I believe Kevin and Joe really did the best they could with what they had and slowed the German offensive down. But the Germans here at the end pull it out to get to Telly Savalas and the fuel depot. No way. What do you think? All right. Too much, eh? Well, I'm going to turn the camera to you. Um, what did you think of today's exciting game? Well, um, it, it started off real slow for us because... Uh, <laughs> we know why. <laughs> um, because they save on one through eights when they're in all that uh, shelter. No. So it made it really tough to be able to kill anybody. So... Very true. And I'm going to swing over to Mike, our other uh, German commander. Let me get a little closer. Well, Mike, what do you think of today's game? I know we had some high explosive issues, but we uh, sort of... I still know nothing. I still see nothing. Well, you did do really well with this, Doug. Yes, and I, here I've got an Iron Cross coming. Yes, you do. And uh, Bill, you came in late in the game, but uh, you rolled very well for reinforcements. Thank you very much. It was well done. So I'm going to turn uh, the camera over to the American commanders. Well, Kevin, as an American commander, uh, what's your take on today's game? Well, they were absolutely going nowhere, doing nothing, until Panzer Bill showed up, put some <laughs> steel into their backbones, and showed them how to play this game. And of course, it helped that they had massive reinforcements, but uh, they could have done what he did in the last turn. They could have done it at any point in this game. They just didn't do it. Didn't see it. 
Wow, let's swing over to Joe. Joe, what are your comments for today's game? Was this game better than my Alamo game I ran a few months ago? Oh, most definitely. Now, just take the camera and swing it over that way, and you will observe the Tiger II that just arrived at the edge of the board. Turn one. On turn one, and it hasn't moved since. What? What is wrong with this picture? Well, I think they were worried that there is too many bazookas and my rules for high explosives um, were not affecting your bazooka teams hidden in the buildings. Well, the odds of the bazooka knocking out the Tiger II are zero. From the flank, no, the front is zero. From the front is zero. Yeah. And then from the flank is just almost zero. Once you hit it, 10%. only one chance out of ten. Wow. You, on a D10, you have to still roll a 10 to get the penetration on the on the Tiger II. And that had them quaking in their boots. Yeah, it did. For the whole game. Yeah, and, we only and had. Yeah, you still killed a stud. But that's a stud! stud. It's not the Tiger <laughs> two, for God's sake. And it was a lucky, lucky shot. So. Everyone, um, I think probably we all should tell everyone, I don't know if we'll get together between here and the holidays. Hopefully we will, but I will say uh, happy holidays and Merry Christmas and Kwanzaa and uh, happy Hanukkah to everyone that's watching. And uh, I'll pan over to Walt. Do you want to say any uh, holiday festive cheer? Oh, Merry Christmas to everybody. And may you get lots of soldiers in your stockings this year. <laughs> All right. And Bill, would you have a happy holiday? Uh... Well, I do have a final word. All right. Oh. This has been a presentation of Broadcasting. <laughs> Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or other use of this without the express written consent of Uber is strictly prohibited. That was very well thought of. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, Mike, you Ditto. Take... Ditto. <laughs> Ditto. All right. And, um, you know, I'm going to order you and I are cross off uh, the internet tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy who earned it's dead. You can send it to his wife. Any happy uh, holiday notes, Kevin? Yeah, well, I just, yeah. Holiday wishes to everyone watching. I still can't believe you actually watch us. But. Yes. Um, and Joseph, any holiday wishes from you? Yes. Uh, Merry Christmas to all. All right. To and all for, a good fight. And for me, I guess I should get up here and say... Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and I hope you have a great batch of wargaming friends like I do to get together and, and wargame. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Bill. Yes, thank you. Gomo, gomo. I don't think this was better than your Alamo game. <laughs>